What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a very interesting solution to backup and transfer data from your phone to your computer, of course, using a tool called Phone Manager. Now, this tool in here is one of the best alternatives to iTunes, which of course is no longer a thing. iTunes basically got phased out. And of course, in the newer macOS version, like macOS Big Sur and stuff like that, you no longer have iTunes. You have the Finder, which of course is lackluster in features and not exactly very good if you want to do proper backups and stuff like that. Now Dr. Phone Phone Manager is available for both Windows and Mac OS and this one is actually quite powerful and it allows you to do a lot of things like you know backup your contacts, your SMS, your photos, your music, your videos, even your applications and stuff like that and you can even convert media files and explore the file system of the phone with no problem which of course are things that normal iTunes wouldn't be able to do. So basically this is a good replacement for iTunes but with a lot of features and it fully supports the iOS 13 and of course the rest of the iOS devices like iOS 12 and stuff like that. So the phone manager is actually part of a bigger tool called Dr. Phone and this one is actually very good. I do recommend this bundle a lot because this one contains a lot of you know iOS related tools that actually can help. You know iOS tools that normally do not exist on iTunes even if you have iTunes on your computer like if you are still on macOS High Sierra and stuff like that and they do not exist in Finder if you have a latest version available. So basically this one contains a lot of stuff including phone transfer, phone backup and system repair and virtual location, data transfer, even data recovery and of course WhatsApp transfer which supports transferring the WhatsApp conversations and Viber and WeChat and stuff like that. But the start of the show today is the phone manager which is basically focused on transferring data from your device to your computer and vice versa. So you can see that I do have a device connected in here. It says it's running 13.4.1 which is indeed correct and if you press details in here you can see the information about the phone. Now if you scroll down you get a lot more information but it gets a little bit personal with the serial number and stuff like that but you can see that it's actually an iPhone 7 plus. Not exactly very new but not exactly very old either. So I'm going to close in here and as you can see we have a couple of options. The menus are actually very well made and they're actually very intuitive. If you are new to macOS and to iPhone and stuff like that the program makes it very easy to transfer your data and of course to know what you're doing. While iTunes was was actually quite cumbersome and even the error messages were actually pretty hard to understand. Now the file explorer in here is actually very useful, especially if you do have a jailbroken device, but even if you don't, it's still useful because you're able to access some of the files in here and you can even put files on what is called a U-Disk. The U-Disk basically allows you to create, you know, files and stuff like that and you would be able to basically copy them to the device and use the device as a USB flash drive, which normally you wouldn't be able to do with normal iTunes because normal iTunes doesn't give you any file system access. And of course at this point you can even go here into the DCIM and get your photos and stuff like that which are all available in there. You can see here I have the folders with all the photos and you can see all of them being available and I can even copy them if I want to. They are the normal HEIC which is basically an Apple proprietary format, the MOV and of course JPEG which are the photos that I do have on the phone. You can see that I do have plenty of them in here. But if you go here to the home you have the transfer device media to iTunes, which I'm going to do, which allows you to transfer your phone to iTunes if you still have iTunes. It says in here that this will basically detect the differences between files on your phone and iTunes automatically and copy only the missing files from your phone to iTunes. So basically when you do an iTunes transfer, iTunes just copies everything every single time, which takes a lot of space because you're basically just creating a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy and stuff like that. So iTunes doesn't exactly know that you already have a backup of that photo, it will keep on creating a backup every single time, which of course adds up to the space it occupies, and a lot of the space is actually lost with backups. A particularly good function of Phone Manager is that it basically checks whether or not there should be any backup done. Now if you go here to the applications, you can see in here that the applications that I do have installed are actually part of the list in here. So if I select for example YouTube and the authenticator, I can basically delete them if I don't want them anymore and stuff like that. You can even install an application if you have an IPA file as long as the application is signed. Now if I want to back up all the photos that I have in here, for example I want these and these and this which is a video, I press in here on this little button and export the Mac and that's basically it. I press 
specifies where I want the photos to go and I can simply press open in here and that's it. You can see that the extraction is completed. I open the folder and that's it. You can see that everything is now on my desktop including this in here which is a screenshot and of course that was actually quite easy. So you don't have to open iTunes and create a backup and then try to extract the backup using a third party program which of course normally takes a lot of time. You just go here to photos, you select whatever you want and press that button. So this one allows you to actually manipulate the data on the phone quite easily and you even get them by category. The camera roll, the hidden photos, the dates, best of the year and stuff like that and even videos, live photos, screenshots and panoramas and stuff like that. So it does give you the categories exactly as on the phone. But the file explorer in here is actually quite useful if you want to copy in bulk every single file that the device has. Of course in terms of downloads and photos and the recordings and stuff like that. Now I don't have music on this phone but I can actually go ahead and put some music if I want to and of course you can also copy the music from the phone, remove it and stuff like that. And here on the ringtones I can do the same. You can basically install ringtones to the phone which is a notorious function that Apple completely missed out. With this program you can actually set up your own ringtone which is good or you can set up your own playlist for example this one here and there you go I created a new playlist and this one will be available in the music application. Same with the videos in here. Now if you want to transfer your iTunes media to the device you press in here and if you do have backups you can basically transfer the entire library. Though in my case I never backed it up with iTunes because I don't use iTunes anymore. If you want to transfer the device photos to the Mac, you can do this in here. You press this and of course you press where you want them to be transferred. And I'm going to say photo backup in here. And this will copy all the photos from the phone. So you press open in there. And as you can see, it says exporting. Now this will take a while because I have 1072 photos in here. So I'm not going to continue, but you got the idea. This is what you need to do if you want to backup your device very easily. Now, as I said, the program is part of a bigger bundle called Wondershare Dr. Phone in here. And there is also a phone transfer, a phone backup, system repair, screen unlock, data eraser, and even virtual location and new features are being added very very soon. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Definitely check it out. It's a good program to keep your backups and of course your data safe and it's actually much much easier to use than iTunes and with much more features in my opinion. Check it out in the link below and thank you for watching. I am Geosnow and till next time, peace out.